being a relatively novice woodworker, I decided that it was way past time that I put in my two cents about how to sharpen your planes and chisels, in this case via the use of a sharpening jig. I would guess that most people in my situation have done quite a bit of research as to how to sharpen their tools, so I'm not trying to add to that since I'm not in a position to challenge any particular method. Many of the woodwork legends that I follow on YouTube utilise and encourage freehand sharpening of tools, which is essentially finding the bevel on your chisel or plane against a stone and then holding that angle as you advance through the different grits. Now whilst I aspire to this way of sharpening, especially because it allows for a quick touch up of blades that have slightly dulled, um, I'll be spending the vast majority of my sharpening time with my jig for the time being. Now, the biggest reason is that I will trade some extra time for the certainty that my blade is razor sharp and that I haven't made the blade more difficult to sharpen next time around as well. Annoyingly, I have to work a full-time job and the consequence of that is that my employer wants me doing stuff during the week that isn't woodwork. Now, whilst totally unfair, it means that I don't always have time in the shed and sometimes this can last a couple of weeks. Um, and I've found that the skills that I've gained often need to be refreshed after this time and precision stuff like sharpening is, is certainly no exception to that. Now, I hope I'm the only one who has done this, but in looking to generate a burr when freehand sharpening a plain blade in the past, um, I started to unconsciously roll one of the blades to a steeper and steeper angle relative to the stone. And it was still getting sharp, and I was definitely finding the burr, but in the end, the angle meant that it wouldn't shear the timber once it was back in the plane. This combined with things like um, sometimes letting blades lose the squareness on, on, on their edge was one thing, but the bigger issue was getting them back to working order. And these are the types of reasons why I think people look to, to sharpening jigs. Um, these are the type of sharpening jigs that I started with, and they do work. However, given that they're made of a lighter metal, um, aren't always wildly stable and often struggle to keep a really good hold on the blade. They don't always inspire confidence and you have to be very careful that you're keeping your blade square. The jig that was not cheap at all but gave me consistent results and the confidence that I could get them every time was this one from Veritas. Now there are plenty of higher end jigs out there but this was the one that I chose and I liked it enough to make it its own little dovetailed house to live in. With a very solid and secure jig you're able to sharpen to the same angle every time and with this one you only need to turn this roller from the upward to the downward position and you can add in a micro bevel if that's your thing with no other adjustment to the blade. Um, here in Australia these cost about $140. Um, now, I'm not advocating this brand or anything like that, but I would suggest that if you are in the market for a sharpening jig, then save a bit longer and get something that is really robust and lets you sharpen in a repeatable way. Um, I know that blade angle is something that gets way overemphasized, so I'm not worried about that. My biggest concern is knowing that when I get to spend some of my limited time in the shed, that my blades are going to be good to go. So hopefully this will give you some food for thought if you're in a similar position.